Hi everyone, it's Naomi here. Hope you're all well. I'm just in practice now and I've got a patient in the chair. The um, patient's consented but we're not going to show this person's face. Um, I just wanted to demonstrate these brushes today. So I talk about these quite a lot. And if you've got uh, discomfort around your wisdom teeth or you've got pocketing, so where you've got a bit of deeper gum disease, these are really, really, really good. So they're made by Oral-B and they're called Interspace Brushes. And I just want to show you how to use them. So I'm just going to put my gloves on, bear with me. So this patient has attended today and she's got a pocket on one of her molar teeth. Um, so I'm just going to show the patient and on the video how to get down and really clean it really well because your normal toothbrush won't go into the little crevices. So this is um, basically what it looks like and you get two of these in a pack. So um, they fit on any Oral-B base and the aim is, um, we can't really show on this one because this is a demo head. But the aim is that you take off your circular head and you pop on this little tufted gadget and it just basically vibrates like so. What you can also do to get into a deeper pocket is cut off these blue parts and we'll just use the centre part. I've got my mask on as well, obviously we're in surgery so we've got a patient in the chair and I um, unfortunately can't take my mask off so you, you're just going to have to try and put it on maybe at a higher volume so you can hear what I'm talking about. These are not the best scissors, but I'm doing my best. It's like giving it a haircut, basically. This is roughly chopping off the blue bits and you're left with this centre white part. You can dip it in salty water or mouthwash. And the aim is to work it into the pocket. So we're just going to have a look in this patient's mouth. And this lady's got a pocket just on the front of this molar. So you can see they've got a gap here. And then just at the front of the tooth there, it just dips all the way in. It's a good eight millimetres down. So getting one of these little brushes in and kind of tilting it, see if I can get it in there, into the pocket as much as possible and splay it under. Obviously, this is when it's on the actual toothbrush. And really working it in forwards and backwards into the pocket as much as possible from both sides, if you can get it in. Resplaying it in. Can you see from there? Mm -hmm. Is my hand in the way? No, that's all right, I can see. So splaying it down and then... It's quite tight there, but it does go in. You feel it going under, so and that's just wiggling it in and out. And then slide it out of the pocket. Where it is also useful is around sort of crown sites at the top as well, and just skirting it just very gently. So the brush actually splays under the gum as well and you're just working it into these sort of sites like put the light on it better i don't know if that makes it worse or not so you're just working it into these sorts of sites as well really pushing it under the gum triangles and just disturbing where the bacteria live on the back ones also you've got your cheek to contend with so again it's just working it in but the main area i want this lady to use it is on this um, pocket here Okay, I hope that's useful. Um, let me know.